Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Kati and today it's time for my monthly confession video. So I show you all what I bought stationery related in June. And let's go to my money section, which is behind this green tab and see my June spending tracker. After my fail in May, <laughs> I wanted to try again. So I gave myself a bigger goal of no spend days. So I decided on 17 of 30 days. My budget in stationery was the normal 50 euros and I had in savings 242 euros 50 cents so together that's almost 300 euros which is a nice amount and here on the other side if you're wondering I'm tracking my other passion spending but I focus on the stationary things here I have a color code green is the best color so a no spend day then blue is anything necessary like groceries pink is then my passion spending and then yellow is is anything else spending wise. June the 1st was a no spend day but then already on the 2nd there is something pink to see and this is already something that was a huge failure but before buying I couldn't know it so it was this. This is an A5 binder from little and I just thought it looked nice it says dreams and thoughts and I just thought that it would be a nice add-on to my A5 binders the one question mark was the rings so I didn't expect like a5 rings that the rings planners have but I was expecting normal rings that I could punch with a normal punch but these are something different. Here you can see the normal hole punch that we use here and then I have the A5 rings punched here and none of these line up so I just that was the, the disappointment because I can't punch papers in here if I don't do it like one hole at a time and I'm not ready for that. So that way this was a disappointment because I was thinking I wanted to use this as an A5 binder but I can't now because I can't put my papers in here. But this has 100 and 20 pages and some dividers so the dividers are here in the back and they are very cheap quality and here is also a pocket and it has these dotted paper so I could use this for a project and make notes or one option is that I cut these papers to personal size and punch them and use these as note pages in my rings planner. I don't know yet I just after opening it I just put it away and try to forget it that I bought it <laughs> and that's that but yeah 5 euros 99 cents so it's not a disaster but on the other hand I could have something more useful and nicer but it's always when you buy things that are in package and you don't have enough information and I'm again I'm so curious that I want to see and the ring binders that I bought last fall which were were they also 5.99 no I think they were $4.99 but no matter the price they were very cheap and they were an excellent find. I love those. This again this was a miss but it's okay it's okay. And then the next day after that disappointment I bought this VDS 
planner. It was 203 euros 89 cents and this I have made an unboxing video of this it was the previous one and there I go with true more and this was from the TM line so ready to ship so that's why it's so cheap and then I also bought with this planner I bought some leather samples so these are all the touch me leathers and I'm not going to pronounce them now <laughs> so you can see the names here but I just wanted to see these colors oh, and I hate this that these are like messing everything but I just wanted to see these so and these three colors are also from the ready to ship line but this is a custom color now so now the only tm color that i don't have is the tabac because i just thought that's not my color it wouldn't go nice with these bright colors i think so i didn't get that. So the third day I spent over 200 euros on VDS ring binder. Then this pink is in my passion spending category and then I just had a lot of no spent days as you can see because I was so aiming for that 17 no spent days. Here on the 23rd I made my third stationary purchase and this was like a, a surprise for me so i haven't been using any pocket size lately but somehow getting this vds planner made me want to use some of my old planners again which was a bit weird but okay so then i bought some field notes which i haven't bought ever before and I have a pocket TN so I needed some needed really needed some pocket notebooks and these are the ones I decided on so this is this spring edition these three yellow ones with this nice flor florals and well you can see my colors these bright metallic colors I love them so and these have a yellow dot grid and then this is the national parks edition so the D series <laughs> and I just love this one I got stuck on this picture and this is also very nice and you can see the back colors and this was like okay so this has this greenish grid and i will show you the setup soonish so i bought these and i had to pay i i didn't find these anywhere without a shipping cost so these ended up costing 35 euros and 70 cents so one three pack was 15.90 in euros and i had to pay shipping 3.90 so in the end with the shipping cost one notebook ended up being 5 euros 95 cents so just under six euros and i thought well Let's just do it because I can't, I don't know any shop that I could go and buy these. So I just had to order them online. Then on the 25th, I reached my no spent days goal. So 17 no spent days. Then we had still some days left. And as you can see, I did very well. So in total, I spent 245 euros 58 cents. And that's okay. If you have watched these videos before, you know I have been saving for a planner. So now I had the money to buy it. But this was a bit random and this was unnecessary in the end. But 
it's okay because I had the money so I still had left 46 euros 92 cents and my total spending this year has now been 346 euros and that's 58 euros per month and that is now over my monthly budget but as I said I have been saving the money so there is no catastrophe maybe I just have to be now I don't know it feels a bit bad but on the other hand I have been saving the money and I had the money in my account so everything is okay it's just like I have to be saving again but I don't know if I I'm able to do it very soon because I have a lot of things on my shopping list now and I need money for those things and I need to make a list of what I want to buy, how much they cost and when I want to buy what and then calculate when I have the money for what. So I need to be very careful now with my spending because I don't have so much left in my budget now or in my savings now. But in the end I had 21 no spent days and that's over two thirds of the month and that's like ah oh, I'm so happy about it and here on the other side I just quickly I want I did one purchase and this is still like a problem but I will just not talk about it here because this is about stationery <laughs> And yes, but I forgot to mention about this purchase. So I purchased the ready to make planner and I paid extra for these gold rings. But I don't know if you can all see it here, but I just have to say it. I'm not happy about these rings. They were, I watched the unboxing video, so they were nice when I got them, but I don't know why they are already like ruined. So I'm not happy with these cross rings, although everybody says that these are the perfect rings, but I no, I just somehow I could, I can or like, I don't know if these are better than Filofax rings or even the little planner rings. I, I'm not quite sure about that so that has been a disappointment but i will talk about it more in another video i just want to like get some use out of it still before i tell you all my opinions about it and also what i didn't say these leather samples were one euro 51 cents a piece so i think that's an okay price to make a more informed purchasing decision. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. I hope to see you down below in the comments. Bye bye.